Hey guys, wanted to show you a video of Mr. Bruno. I'm just tongue poking out there a little bit. Um, so he's out in the yard with two of my dogs. Ryder, sorry, my dogs. Looking at my bunny rabbit over there. Good job, Bruins. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you practicing this impulse control with him and getting him some good exposure to some other dogs. Jazzy, no, eat my strawberries. No. <laughs> sorry, hang on. I have to get her her ball. Um, anyway, Mr. Bruno is doing really good. These two, these two uh, female shepherds don't really care about other dogs at all. As you can see, she just likes her softball, and Ryder just hangs out with me. Huh, Ryder, she's a good girl. Anyway, so doing this kind of stuff with Bruno, and, and I get him up, and I am gonna have him doing some healing and stuff too. Bruno, come, come, on, good boy. There he is. Good, heal. Good. So I've got a long leash on him. Well, it's his leash and then another one attached to it. Just for, just in case. Good boy, Bruins. Um, just doing some healing, some off-leash stuff. Come on, heal. Good. Good boy. Making him think a little bit. We've got another little French bulldog right there, too. Bruno, come. Good. Good. Good boy. And what's happening is when, you know, I'm as I'm working him, heal. Come on. Good. And as I'm you know, reinforcing all this obedience that he already knows, down, and, oh, down, good, and asking him to do this under lots of distracting situations, like <laughs> Jezzy holding her ball, or um, a bunny rabbit over here, or a French bulldog, is he, we start to see the kind of, you know, that anxiety a lot more, um, because we take away the fight option that he has. Um, you know, when dogs get really anxious or really excited, or their adrenaline goes up for whatever reason, um, they either go into fight or flight. And when he is with you guys, he feels kind of tough. Um, or he feels like, you know, he has to choose that fight option and act big and tough, even though it's coming from a place of nervousness and uncertainty. Um, and so when we kind of impose these rules, we say, no, you can't be a jerk. You can't act all big and tough and stupid. Um, you have to just be under control. We start to see them go through a lot more stress. I don't know if you can see it, but he's kind of got a little bit of the, the trembles and the shakes going on. I'm sure you can hear my puppy in the background too. She's not being, she's being a distraction too. <laughs> um, but the fact that he's going through this stress is, is a good thing. And this is kind of the, what we're undoing. And, and we're, we're teaching him that it's okay to be calm around other dogs and that it's okay to just be neutral to them. But that's really hard for him because in the past he's felt like he had a, he's had to make decisions and either, um, act big and tough, or if he acts too nervous, like we were talking about when you dropped him off, Annie, is, um, the fact that if you go down and kind of reinforce this if, if I come down and say oh it's okay buddy it's okay when he's acting really nervous that just reinforces that um that mindset of yes it's good that you're anxious it's good that you're acting big and tough um and we don't when I ask him just to hold this down stay on his own he has to process all this stress on his own and that's where it takes a lot of practice and a lot of repetition. Okay, Bruno. Bruno, come. Yes, good boy. Come here. Are you stuck? Oh, sorry. You're kind of stuck right here. That's what's happening. There we go. Okay, buddy. Let's go. Bruno, heal. And so, impulse control. Bruno, come. Good. Heal, buddy. There it is. Impulse control and keeping his focus on me. Come on. And, and not feeding into that anxiety by um, rewarding it, by coddling him. Come on but by making him work through it and showing him that it's okay to be neutral, good boy, is is a really, really important thing. And this is a big part of what's gonna help him is I'm gonna be able to do this a lot over the next couple weeks with him. Bruno, come, good boy, okay, buddy. Okay, and I'm gonna let him kind of be free here. And I'm not gonna ask him to heal or anything, but just kind of, he, he wants to follow me around because he's not quite sure what to do because he's like, well, I can't, I'm nervous of these dogs. I don't really want to engage with them. And so he's doing what he knows how to do, which is the most easiest, most easiest, which is the easiest thing for him to do, which is pay attention to me and follow me. Because that's how I've told him to act in these situations. I say, you can't be big and tough and act, Bruno, come, good boy. You can't act aggressive, You, you but I don't, I'm also not going to you know, let you shut down and, and completely run away because, you know, when you take away fight, often dogs will slip into fight or 
take away fight, they can go into flight and want to run away. Um, and he kind of wants to run over into the potty yard over there um, and kind of not deal with it. But I'm saying, nope, we're going to stay out here and we're going to deal with it. Oh my gosh, my puppy is so loud. Uh, Bruno, come. Come, buddy. Yay, good man. So keeping him up and moving, come, is, is a really good thing to do too in addition to the downstays and the impulse control. So um, just wanted to kind of explain what you're seeing with him. And the panting is a stress signal too, but it's, it's good because we teach him how to process this stress in a healthier way by doing obedience and by staying under control. And that way he doesn't even have to, and get, you can see he's not even engaging with these dogs, which is okay for now. You know, he can get to the point where um, he can be around dogs and if he wants to interact, he can. But with the anxiety that I'm seeing with him, he might not be a dog that wants to engage with dogs that he doesn't know. And, um, but this is the kind of stuff you'll have him do around Alta as well, because even though he knows her, he is kind of bossy with her and kind of codependent on her. And so teaching him this, you know, we do the same thing with that. It's, nope, you stay under control, you do obedience, you focus on whoever's holding the